this next topic comes in from nobody. It's a bunch of people. Um, and it's regarding prepping for a show, managing stress, um, and in 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 and just dealing with the whole process in the proper way. Now, the number one problem I'm seeing is you've heard the term too many cooks in the kitchen, all right? These people, um, and this, it takes a certain type of personality to let this happen, uh, but it happens quite often, where you'll be talking to someone, they're asking you for information. Uh, and they'll say, so, um, this is random. How many carbs should I have after I work out or before I work out or whatever? How much cardio should I do? And I'll answer. And she'll say, well, Dave Palumbo said this. Well, go fucking ask Dave then. Uh, oh, oh, well, not only did Dave say that, but Chris Cito says this. All right. So who are you listening to? Why are you asking me? You know, are you taking a poll? Or are you really trying to get something from this. So this is what happens. They start listening to one person. They may do their protocol for a week and then they hear, oh, so-and-so is doing this. Or they may even see, well, Jose's working with Chris and look how shredded he is. I'm gonna listen to what Chris says. It doesn't work that way. You know, when you work with Dave or Chris or George Farrow or Honey Rambot, they, have a plan this week is setting you up for week 12 week 12 is setting you up for week 8 and so on and so forth you can't listen to Chris week 12 and Hani week 8 it doesn't work and that's why 99% of your real good coaches will never take someone from the other one well I just worked 10 weeks with Chris and can you, uh, it's a very common thing, can you take me in the last four weeks? No, I'm not taking responsibility for some blunder someone else did. You know, they made a mess of you and now I have to take the blame? No. Um, so, point being, is to limit stress, stop listening to everyone. Listen to one person. If you hire someone and you, uh, you're paying good money to someone, Listen to what they say. Live and die by the sword. If they, you know, start you on this protocol or whatever it is, then go with it. You have to trust them because you know what? Maybe you look like shit for eight weeks and then all of a sudden, bam, for some reason, things came together and you look better than you ever did in your life. How are you going to know if you didn't really follow? So you need to follow that person that you're paying. Uh, I know it sounds so trivial, so stupid and simple, but you wouldn't believe the amount of people that cannot focus in and just trust the process with one coach. Um, so if you're listening to someone, listen to them all the way through. Follow it through. Now, stop worrying about what everyone else is doing. Um, and as I said earlier, it's, it, it's a certain personality trait it's a certain type of person that does this stuff they're usually really hyper like spastic kind of people and like oh my god I I, they have anxiety to begin with and then they just make it worse and compounded um probably shouldn't even be prepping <laughs> you know that they, they need to like get a hold of themselves before they can you know put such a stressful thing on their uh, on themselves you know Pre prepping for a show is expensive it's time consuming it's all consuming if you do it the right way let, 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 let's not kid ourselves if you're getting ready for a show pretty much nothing else matters now you should be able to do your everyday thing your job keep your house clean do your laundry pay your bills that's about it there's really no fun going out with friends and going out with, to play cards or going golfing or skiing and none of that happens because you're too worried about when's your next meal, when's your next cardio session, when's your next workout, you need to get your rest, you can't afford to break your leg doing a, a 
skiing because you got to do the team universe in eight weeks, you know? So there's, it is just all consuming. And if you can't do it, if you can't do it and, and smile at the end of the day, you shouldn't do it. And I say this all the time. It is not for everyone. Um, I love it. It makes my life more complete. I feel better. I feel healthier. I feel more productive and I'm happier. I smile more uh, when I'm prepping for a show. I have a passion. I have purpose every day, every morning, getting up. I don't mind getting up at 5, 5.30, whatever I got to do to get up and cook, prep, pack my food, pack my you know, things for my day, go do cardio, do what I got to do because I have purpose. When I don't have a light at the end of the tunnel, man, getting out of bed sucks. It's not the same. So uh, find your purpose, stick to it. Um, that, that's the best I can say. Do not listen to every Tom, Dick and Harry. Um, you know, try to stay within yourself. I'm babbling now, but this is a good rant. People need to hear this. Um, one, it, it, again, it's not for everyone, but if you're gonna do it, do it the right way. Do it so you can be happy and, and proud of your accomplishment and, and what you've done. So uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll have more stuff just like this soon. This is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?